everybody, welcome back to Cab Cooks. And today we are gonna be cooking some delicious, delicious, delicious potatoes with chicken. And we're gonna stuff the chicken with potato. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically the recipe. <laughs> with all right, so I'm just kidding. So today we're gonna be making stuffed chicken. It's kind of weird, cause it's like Cause, okay. So look, like, we, we gotta we gotta break it down for y'all real quick, cause obviously <laughs> you know he, he, it's like he, he's it's not like, there yet. Hold on, hold on. Let me break it. Let me go break ahead. Break go break. ahead. Um, the original recipe that we were gonna make was uh, like a potato soup. You know, something cozy to keep you warm. Yeah, it's, getting, it's getting cold out, right? But when we got here, we realized that that's not gonna be enough. So meal. what we're planning to do, and we're shooting this intro very quickly because we gotta go run to go grab have some extra ingredients is that we're gonna possibly do the soup whatever he's talking about i don't know we're gonna have some sort of protein maybe some mac and cheese on the side we don't know exactly at this current moment exactly what we're gonna make because when we cut this part off we're gonna do our homework okay after we do our homework you guys are gonna be able to see clearly what we're gonna be making mm -hmm. all the ingredients everything's gonna be listed out and whatnot we have been seeing the feedback but we have to let you know that we shoot these episodes in advance this is episode six right now. Episode two just came out last weekend. Yeah, last what's weekend. What's the date? It is October 22nd. So that means next week we're gonna be shooting our Thanksgiving episode, but you guys aren't gonna see that till Thanksgiving. So. Yep. Oh, happy almost Thanksgiving, y'all. I'm excited to make this, bro. You know. Yeah, so we just- gonna see, it's gonna look real crazy, you know? Yeah. That mac and cheese was- We gonna bust slutty. it down. We, we gonna, gonna bust it it's down. Gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna so. look mad slutty. That's all I can say, man. Just wait on it. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. All right, so what about the, the smoked Gouda right there? Where? Right there, but... This is a small portion. It is. Unless we check all... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to check over there. So we'll grab both right now. Okay, let's just see for now. We're grabbing this cheese just just for right now, just to see. Smoked Gouda and Havarti. We can get our... I know that should stink. It's aged. Walking through the aisles. Yes, we'll grab some breast. Mac and cheese right there. Nasty. <laughs> We're gonna get probably like three, four chicken breasts. This one comes with. Why is that one inflated like that? That's that GMO. Oh, yeah. It's breathing still. So. There's an art to picking which chicken that you get. Okay, what's what's what, what do we, how do you do this? So you want the ones that are kind of like bulging out, this one but it's clean. tight. This one looks real. Like that one looks clean and crisp. These look real clean, and these look like they've been out for a little minute. Right, like this one right here, you see all that space? That's how the contaminants contaminate the this chicken. You have a good eye off what you pick. Those, those in the back look the crispiest. We picked our chicken, and now we move on. So what's your most down bad moment? <laughs> so we're gonna get the pasta with the twist. Seems like Walmart's in a bit of a drought. Yeah, like that. That's if y'all want chickpeas. No, that's not part of the recipe. Chickpeas. It's called cavatappi. Cavatappi? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna have it here, man. Walmart's in a drought. If you need elbows, don't come here. You better come early. Or what about, no, right here. Cavatappi. Two boxes, we're next. What's your most down bad moment? Who? Look at him in the See what we came I got to. If somebody asked me why we're why we're recording, I'll ask them. If you want to be so curious, you better participate. It's a free country. They can film these nuts. You can go on Twitter and see a BBL getting smashed down for nothing. We need mustard seed and that's it. Let's go get our cheese, bro. Get me doing the cart slide. Go ahead. We gotta be consumed. Or there might be paprika in here. If we ballin' on a budget, do your homework on ballin' on a budget. And we put it back. Here. Yeah, put it back right here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're gonna hot box the cheese to add the smoky hints to it. If you don't wanna buy the expensive smoked gouda, you can smoke it yourself. This Havarti is just gonna have to be what it is. I think this should be enough though, with the addition of Montreux and we have cheddar. I think we're good on cheese. What's next on the on the list? So cleaning is just important as cooking. So here in this aisle, we're gonna get cleaning supplies to clean up the kitchen after ourselves. If you're not cleaning as you cook, your counters are gonna be sticky. You know, the bad bees over and they wanna hop up on the counter so they can get smashed and end up with chicken grease and crumbs all over their hands and ass, it's gonna get crazy. You're not gonna get no cheeks. 
Trust me. Let's clean. Okay. Evaporated milk and we're gonna cheese check and we should be good. Hopefully chef doesn't think we're taking too long. What you doing, Kelvin? Um, as a noble customer of Walmart, I always stop by to water the herbs. Right, bro. Can you water the parsley we're getting, bro? The parsley's dry. Look at the parsley, bro. bro. <laughs> Look at Who's going to question me, man? For the free ski, though? Look how dry it was, though. They're not doing their job, bro. Yeah. Okay. This is me paying back Walmart for all the times. You see? I'm doing, I'm doing Walmart a favor. Now, the next time I get something for free, we're going to be even. All right, look at Brino Baxter. Brino, what are you getting today, Brino? Head chef told me to order two dozen uh, chocolate donuts, so that's what we're doing. You feel me? We got to feed the entire catering team. They had the chef had us, you know, out and about getting all the last ingredients that we need. We're gonna chef it up for y'all. We're gonna chef it up for y'all. But first, two dozen donuts just to make sure the whole crew's fed, cause you know we take care of our crew. Donuts is a little crazy. You just get the Justin Fields coffee right there. That's some real man coffee. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not the one drinking. I'm not the one that's in line. You're the one. We're in line for you. Coffee, though. We're, we're in line for you. I'm not the one ordering coffee. Why? I told you. Head chef told me to order 12 dozen, I mean, two dozen donuts. Are you sure they didn't say coffee, too? Nah. You, mean, you might need to work on your memory, bet, pal. Hmm. He's losing it. Am I losing it? Y'all want a donut? What, do you, what was the order? <laughs> two. Oh, my. Two frosted chocolate donuts. Do y'all want anything? <laughs> No, I'm good. You want something? There? I'm trying to get high blood pressure, not diabetes. Stop bro. talking. Am I lying? I'm trying to get high blood pressure, not diabetes. You know, I got to find a good healthy balance. All right. We are back home. As you can see, there's a lot more ingredients. So we're going to cook a nice full meal today. So what we're going to be cooking today, I know we already explained it, but what we really are cooking today is going to be baked mac and cheese with cooked chicken that is going to be seared and baked stuffed with potatoes, like a potato cheddar soup. Everything that you see here, all this, all this is going to turn into something great. As a great one said, let them cook. All right, so the ingredients that you're gonna need today, it's not much. A lot of this stuff you should already have. It looks like it's much, but you can just go to the store. Probably what you really need is just cheese, some chicken broth, maybe some heavy whipped cream. That's probably really it that you need to get. So I'm gonna start off with the first ingredient is turkey bacon. We don't eat pork, but if you eat pork, you can eat regular bacon. But for us, we don't eat pork, so we're using turkey bacon. Let me just go with cheese. Got Parmesan cheese, Gouda cheese, Gouda. Guada cheese, Harvati cheese, and then we have Monterey Jack cheese, and then we have cheddar cheese. It's in the fridge right now. So we have our macaroni. Brian, why did you say we should get this one? Why, why, why was this one the best one that we should get? It's more twisty. It's more twisty. Do your homework on it's more twisty. So we have our macaroni that's more twisty, more Parmesan cheese. We got our heavy whipping cream. We have our chicken broth, two uh, cans of evaporated milk, onions, a uh, cheese shredder, some flour, Italian seasoning, adobo seasoning, paprika, black pepper, slap your mama sauce, which is basically just Cajun sauce or Cajun seasoning, ground mustard, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and avocado oil. Oh, minced garlic, some parsley. What was this, Kelvin? Chicken bouillon? Something like that. Something like that. If you're African, I don't even gotta tell you what this is, but it's Maggie Cube, so you just crush it down. It's basically just more seasoning. We do have this, you know, we got this for some very, you know, special people. You know, they sent us the truff sauce, so, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. It hit. It hit. We got our pre-skinned potatoes. We're gonna chop these in half because you don't want it this big. We're gonna chop it, chop it in little pieces. And then we have our chicken, which is cleaned and everything like that. So we're gonna get to seasoning our chicken. We're probably gonna start with making the um, mashed potato cheddar soup first because chicken takes longer to cook. So this is probably the quicker thing that we can make right now. So let's get to it. I am cutting up the potato. As you can see, look at the technique. I cut on top, keep it together. Cut like that, keep it together. Put it to the side, cut like that, all right? You can keep it to any chunk that you want, but for me personally, us, I don't want too big of chunks because look how many potatoes we have, so. I'm just drying my chicken off with the paper towels. Just doing this so the season stick, as I said. Once it's all dry, I'm going to apply my seasonings and we will sear the chicken on the pan. Make sure no paper towel gets stuck on your chicken because that's just weird. 
It's easy work. Man, you really signed you with it. Man, my knife work has been getting better since we started doing this, so I'm getting more. Oops. I said that, then I got, I got, I got, I got clipped. You got but. got. Okay, today, I'm just, uh, just make sure that you, uh, uh, I don't even know what I want to say, uh, but I'm talking loud because Brino wants us to talk loud. So, you want to this one? Um, if I need to edit, I'll edit when I need to. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep cutting away on these potatoes. Uh, low key, what seasoning do you want, buddy? Uh, make sure you use that Cajun seasoning in there. We use that in everything, so. Oh, yeah, Cajun love. Does this work for you, Brino? I think we can go up a couple decibels. Me too! Oh, yeah! By the Whoa. way, we're watching football. Watching football while we're cutting potatoes? Oh, Woo. yeah. Make sure you get all the seasonings inside the crevice like this. You see that? You see that? Yes, sir! Make sure to open all the crevices and get that seasoning inside. It's gonna need it! You see me get in that crevice? See that? See how the crevice is pink? Not no more. Not no more. What did Sexy Red say? No more locked doors. She didn't say that. <laughs> I was, I was gonna say. I just wanted to say that. I'm cooking the turkey right now. I'm, I'm trying to get this chicken. on here. He's cooking the cooked turkey. Again, when you go to the store, make sure you don't buy cooked turkey bacon already. At least not the box we got. Why doesn't he eat strawberries? Because he's afraid of strawberries and chicken. I'm afraid of chicken. This is chicken, bro. You're afraid of what, chicken. What, what else am I afraid of? Spoons and forks. So you eat with your hands only. Am I lying? You're not refuting anything. Bro, smooth and forks? He's a caveman yeah. with it. Two things you ain't never seen. Kate Carson, because you do your homework on if it wasn't cooked, I'll be able to cut it. <laughs> Before we even get to uh, cooking it, but this will suffice. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, 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 I'm getting cooked. You want to try a piece, Bruno, or are you too scared? Mm. No? Be scared. Don't be scared, Brino. It's just turkey. Brino, you know what it tastes like? I bet that tastes like ass, don't it? It just tastes like turkey bacon, just a little more turkey. That's all. Special guest. To God! Cue the applause. Hey, guys. Aha! Look at Brino in the camera now. Brino, do you want to try it? Come on, come on, try it for the camera, come on. Just try one piece and just eat it. Ow. You too, Kelvin. Well, that looks like rubber. Yeah, because I have to cut it after. It's like, dang. That's what turkey bacon tastes like. This don't feel right either. Why? It's literally just chicken. It's the same thing. It's just different. Or birds. They're both birds. There we go. They're all birds. All right, y'all, it's Brino right here. I have no job currently to do. Like I said, I already did my cheeses. Kelvin is cooking the meat. Um, Afo, he's skinning onions right now, and onion. One singular onion, it's kind of crazy. Afo's supposed to be the head chef today, so, you know, I'm just following the lead right now. He's not a real good, you know, leader, you feel me? Like, I'm gonna have to do my own research off camera, and, you know, I'll be, I'll be calibrated. I'll be calibrated, I'll be calibrated. Hey, don't be mad at me because you don't eat turkey bacon. I'm not mad at you. I don't eat turkey bacon. You scared of birds? I'm scared of birds. What? I'm scared of birds. What does that have to do with what we're talking I'm about right now? I'm scared of birds. Who's not scared of birds? I mean, I don't... Oh. Hey, I'm, I'm not locked in right now. What am I doing? Yeah, your, your technique is looking very questionable. I'm not going to lie. Nigga. Bro, we need you to see what that chicken's searing over there, bro. It's different. We got a cameraman today. So what's happening back here, Kel? I'm just searing my chicken, preparing it to be loaded with afo soup. We're going to throw it in the oven for 350 for about 30 minutes. It smells good. Mmm, interesting. It's nice and juice. Ooh, you see that juice? See that juice? That's like Sunny D. Can you pour that juice in there? In there? Yes. Look at that technique. Thanks. Avocado Look oil. Look the camera, not here. Avocado oil. All right. Gonna pour. Ooh, baby. Ooh la la, ooh la la. Look at that. 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 Look at that.
Got my chicken look like a prime rib steak. So now we're gonna get to this. Let me do some research real quick. Guys, you good? He got to do his homework behind the screen. We got the head chef is calling. Head chef's on the phone. Bro. No, I just vibe. I just vibe. I just vibe. Don't worry, bro. Chef is just calling. Chef is on the phone, bro. I just, I just, I just vibe. Back to back. This is like MJ Pippen in the playoffs right here. Jamal Murray, Jokic in the, in the playoffs right here. Look at this. Back to back. Look at it. Right. One sec. What you got going on? It's pretty good. Yeah, I got this little broth going. Just letting it cook. Cook some pork. What's the broth for? Garlic powder, huh? What's the it's, broth for? It's for the, um, the potatoes, man. Ooh. So I'm putting this garlic powder in there. Just eyeing it. Some Italian seasoning. Ooh. You know this drill pit. This is a secret searing technique. Make sure you sear all parts of your chicken, every side. I might need to use a different pan. Oh God. I might need to use a different pan. I'm just gonna put this on here. We back. Afo been cooking, man. Afo, Afo cooked, so we got our little, you know, Got a little cook right there. I got it brewing on low heat. Creamy. So got our green onions. Let me. I'm gonna start by the stem because that's probably like this, the thicker. I cut the bigger stems off, but. Line it up. Cut. Cut small pieces like that. What's your cutting technique? Just, I go like. Cut that motherfucker. Like that, yeah, just cut that thing like that. Like what angle do you go at? I go like up to down, so like that. So like a wave? Like a wave, yeah. Stroke motion? Yeah, it makes it like, I don't know. It just works for me, I really don't know. I should be holding it a little different, but in this case, I need to bunch them together so I can get that little, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Creamy, And the big reveal. <laughs> creme de la creme. Turn this off, turn that off, right? This is. A nice potato Ooh. soup. Look at that. Wow. Ooh, it's kind of clumping up together. It's supposed to be soupy like this. You see how it is? You see how it is? You see how small it is? And ooh, this that smells ooh. so good. That smells so good. I've been Have, feeling a little bit under the weather. Weather. I think this man, is gonna be this really is good something for me. that you would take. It's done cooking. We're gonna get our green onion. This eye test. Yeah. Put the rest in like a bag. I mean, I didn't cut it small enough, but it's cool. Then we're gonna get like a handful of the cheese. What type of cheese? Uh, is it was shredded cheese? What cheese is this? I don't remember. I don't, I don't even know. What type of cheese is this? Cheddar. All right, just put the cheese in there. <laughs> You're killing me, man. <laughs> cheese in there. Another clump of cheese in there. So it's like the cheese is shredded. <laughs> I low key might have choked, but it's okay. Even the head chef can make a mistake sometimes. I think it's still gonna. So be the good. garnish is, you know, <laughs> just forget the garnish, bro. Just gonna put this all together. So garnish, garnish. You see that cheese melting in there, though. You hear that? Put the mic to the. What that sound like to you? Sounds like I should call her. Exactly. Just let that melt. I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Woo! Wow. Look that's that. looking like some pressure. You've outdone that's yourself, chef. That is looking like some pressure. That, that is looking like some pressure. pressure. I ain't gonna lie. Go ahead. You've outdone yourself, Ooh. chef. Oh my gosh. Oh. Maybe we can put that on the chicken. Yeah, you can. This is real. Put that on the chicken, then. Maybe we dip the chicken. Put the chicken in there. Could do that too. We can do whatever we want. We can do whatever we want. At this one, we're freestyling. So. This is definitely a freestyle. It's kind of big pieces. Of Please don't put that in there right now. Not gonna work. Smooth editing. Honestly, this sucks. It right. does. I don't want that in there. I don't want that in there. Yeah. If you got a dog, just be good dog food. Type of thing Q. to shoot.
You know how they drop it on the floor? They gotta collect themselves. They drop it on the floor, pick it back up. Yeah, this is just soup. So Keep this is about itself. done, yeah. What are we cooking with this mac and cheese right here? You gotta stir it a little bit or what? Do your homework on when we stopped it as soon as the timer went off. Coach has perfect timing. Did you season it with anything else? I just put salt, that's it. Okay. Do you think Beyonce can cook or she has chefs? I think I she think can cook, but she definitely does not have to because she has chefs. Do you think she prefers to cook so she can feel more like human? At times, I think. Probably. But for the most part, for convenience purposes, I think she would just let the chef cook. I wouldn't be surprised if she was pregnant while doing the Renaissance tour. That's something Beyonce would do and then put it on a documentary. And then name the kid after something. Renaissance. Renaissance. <laughs> yeah! Name, name the kid Renee. I know that is a little bit too COE demon, but you can't tell you can't tell me it, that's ultimate cookage right there. That is some ultimate cookage. That's ultimate cookage. You drop the documentary, you show how you're pregnant, you're going through the struggles. Cause mm. remember she did that last her last one where she was like eat not eating because she wanted to meet wait for the um the tour it's on Netflix, but she was not eating and stuff like that. Can you imagine? She's pregnant with her kid. And the kid is named Renaissance. That's gender neutral, bro. You can name a dude Renaissance, you can name a girl Renaissance. The funniest Michael Jackson video I seen was when he was in the limo. And he's like, look at that, look at that girl. Look at the titties, look at the titties. Michael Jackson was a real freak and a geek, geeker. Do you ever, bro, the combination of a geeker and a freak, bro? What, is, what, is, what would you even call that? Michael Jackson. Greek. A Greeker? A Greeker. <laughs> All right, guys, so this portion of the video, we're going to be working on our roux. Um, Alpha definitely just took the pot off the stove, but uh, we practically have everything that we need to make our roux. We're making it a little different. Head Chef has sent us a recipe, so we're going to be trying that out. First off, we need evaporated milk. That's why, you know, I can that, so that's chilling right there. And to my right, we have our cheeses that we're going to be using and our spices. This is Parmesan cheese. This is uh, Helvati cheese, or however you pronounce Hervati. it. Helvati, so I said that right. Hervati. We have ground mustard. I've never, haven't tried this out, but we're gonna see what that's, you know, what that's hidden for. And we have nutmeg. Yeah, so this is gonna be an interesting put together, all I can really say. The only two cheeses you're using for the roux? No, that is not the only two cheeses we're using for our roux. Because we are well-versed in cheeses, we have an array of cheeses over here. Montre, Montre, Montreal. Monster, whatever. We have him right here. It's cheese. It's, God damn it. it's cheese. It's cheese. We got cheese number one right here. Cheese number two right here. Cheese number three right here. That's all y'all motherfuckers need to know. God damn. Fuck these names, man. Shit. Pour that evaporated milk in the pot, boy. Can you turn on the pot for me? How much? Let me know. No measurements. No we eye this with love. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you for reminding me. We have heavy cream as well because, you know. Yeah. Uh, chef might be calling. Chef might be calling. Chef might be calling. Oh, my fault, bro. Oh, chef might be calling. We got it. We got it. We got it. Ah. What are you doing, Brino? Uh, right now, we're just adding our cheeses to our roux slowly and surely. Um, we have it on medium to low heat right now, so just everything so it can incorporate better. The Helvetica cheese first. Slowly, slowly, slowly. I already poured everything in. Slowly start adding my Parmesan. It's just a slow process. It's just a slow process. We can come back after all our cheese are added and you'll you see our final product. All right, so just got done with our roux. Pour that thing, Brino. Pour that thing, Brino. I'll make it work. It went low. Okay. They're drinking slow as hell. So now we gotta wait just for our Just put that muscle to... in there. There's no reason to wait for it to preheat. Just put it in there, bro. It's all the same thing. That's very true. We are not gonna wait for the oven to preheat. We're gonna put it in there. Cause really, you're just gonna look at it and see if it's done. All right, so as you can see here, we just took out the chicken out the oven. We had it at 400 degrees, it was on the top rack. If you get it on the middle rack or the lower rack, get it to like 350, 300, because it's, it's mostly cooked after you sear it. And we are uh, putting low heat back on the soup to just get it warm and ready for when we are about to present everything. And Afo is about to take a look at the mac and cheese. Yeah, we just took it up halfway to, you know, Make sure it's on track. Um, it was not all the way on track, so now we're about to get it right. So when we come back, it'll be the finished product. Chicken done, though. My little juicy. Hey, guys. So, yeah, it's the end of the day, end of cooking as well. It's about um, 8 o'clock, almost 9, actually. And we started, what time did we start? Really? We started cooking really I think we went to the store at, like, 2. Yeah. Yeah, so that was, that's really what time. 8 o'clock, 6 yeah. hours. Personal vibe potatoes, okay? 
Personal vibe, cheddar potatoes. You know, that's what we made. We're it's giving them too much sauce so we say cheddar. Tastes phenomenal. Tastes phenomenal. Okay. Vegan. You did the roux with the mac and cheese, so do you want to explain what you did? Um, Not really. All we really just made was a five cheese uh, roux. Yeah, made some mac and cheese. It's a little lighter than intended, but hey, you know, we ball. If you if you watch the video, you know you know what I did with the chicken. We just cut chicken breast in half, so you know opens up like a book. Season it with love. Lots of love. Every crevice, every crevice is touched. Lots of love. Woo! Today was a day. As you can see, we are eating. Food's quite delectable. Spent some time today. Does anybody uh, want to take over? Welcome to Cobb Cooks. We out. First couple episodes, people have been telling us that we haven't been showing our end results, and that's because uh, we be hungry. Episode three should have the results. As you can clearly see, we have shown you our results. We have shown you our plating. Plating was phenomenal. Chicken is phenomenal. Cobb potatoes are phenomenal. Macaroni could be a little better, but all together, it's banging. Any strength that we exhibited today? Any weaknesses you would like to? How you guys feeling? Just gotta do more homework before. That's yeah. the only thing today. Yeah, head chef was calling like crazy today, bro. It was crazy. Man. He was like, y'all tweaking, man. You gotta do this, this, and that. It was a long day today. We got through it. Head chef, they already left. We can't, we can't bring them on. Sorry. Well. As you can clearly see, we have no words to say. Thank you for coming back to another episode of Cap Cooks. This was episode six, I believe. Mm -hmm. Six, right? What do we make today, Alpha? I don't even know what to call this, bro. Just vibes. Just vibes. We made just vibes. Personal vibe. I can't even tell you what we made, but just know our feet is in it. Thank you for coming back, and we'll see you next episode. Episode seven should be Thanksgiving. All right, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.